Keeping good records not only makes sound business sense, it's also a legal requirement. So it's well worth getting this right from the outset. When it comes to completing an accurate tax return at the end of the year, you'll certainly find it a lot easier if you've kept all of your records in order as you've gone along. This is important because from April 2009, if you make a mistake on your tax return and can't prove to revenue and customs that you took reasonable care to get it right, you'll have to pay a penalty. The trick is to get a proper system in place right from the outset and update it on a regular basis. Nadine de Reza reports from Northamptonshire. Electric cabaret are performers who know exactly how to bring a theatrical fantasy to life. But when it comes to keeping their business records, nothing is left to the imagination. I spoke to one of their founding partners, Richard Jones, just before a performance. In terms of um, our, our record keeping, specifically, um, we log everything in, we log everything out. It really makes sense to have everything by the book, accounted for, clear, concise from the beginning. We've got a good accountant. He prefers to have our books in good order and hopefully he charges us less in accordance with um, being more uh, organised. It's also, um, I like to know what's happening with the business and what's being spent, so it makes it easier for me to, um, to uh, account for everything. As a rule, you should keep everything that might help you or your accountant to fill in your tax returns. You need to be able to show everything you've spent or bought for your business, as well as a record of all payments received. Keeping all your bank statements and any building society books is also vital, including your own personal ones if you don't have a separate business account. So you can prove what you spent on the business and what was personal spend. If you're running at your business from home, uh, it's uh, very important to keep all utility bills so you can work out what percentage is your uh, legitimate business expense so you can claim it back. And remember, if you use cash, you must keep records and receipts to prove how you kept track of it so you can show revenue and customs if required. And if you're employing other people, the payroll records and other details of their wages are important too. If a document started life on paper, such as bank statements or dividend vouchers, it's really important to keep hold of the original. Now, for those records that exist on a computer, such as emails, then it's important that you make regular backups of all your computer files. Or alternatively, keep hard copies. This is Nadine DeRay's reporting. Back to you, Dan. If you have an accountant, you might want to get his or her advice on what system will suit your business best and how to keep your records really up to date. However you do it, you must keep all your records for at least five years from your last self-assessment tax return. And for your VAT and corporation tax, it's usually at least six years. For more help and advice about record keeping, you can click on the link provided right now.